it. Today, my company at work is doing a team building event with KiwiCo. They sent everyone a box like this and it has like a bunch of art supplies and things in it. Uh, it says on the box that what we're making is macrame planters. So I will vlog the experience of making it. I'm not really a good at crafts at all and every time i've tried one of those like pinterest things it's like pinterest versus real life meme but mine always turns out more like the real life thing obviously so uh, i'm curious to see how this is going to work out are drying over here and there's a ziplock bag of the extra clay and then I also finished my keychain. So I still have a bunch of the string left tomorrow. I'm going to try to make hangers for the planters but um, there's also an additional step. The reason I save the extra clay is 
if it dries tomorrow and there's any cracks and stuff, you have another chance to repair it tomorrow. So uh, I'll check back in then. Hello. So it's the next day. I didn't have time to start working on the macrame um, plant hanging holder stuff, but since it's been a little bit over 24 hours, I wanted to check at least on the pots and show you guys like if there's cracks, if I need to fix it. So I will do that now. So here's what the hexagonal one looks like. You can see that there's some cracks on the bottom of it. Uh, I'm not honestly that concerned because it's the bottom. So who's really gonna be looking too closely, but I will like get some water and smooth that out anyways let's see the round pot here you guys go this one not so good you can see there's some like pretty massive cracks all the way down there's one here there's one here um so not super great this one i'll definitely have to fix so let me grab some water i also still have the extra clay in case i really do need to patch it i'll start with this round one first So I'm dipping my finger in water and just kind of like running over the edges of the cracks to see if it will like kind of heal itself. For the shallow ones, it's not too bad and it is kind of working. I don't know like how clearly you can see it, but the deep cracks might require a bit of clay patching. So on the deeper cracks, you can see I'm kind of like smudging a bit of extra clay onto the crack. So hopefully it fills it in a bit and then I'm going to use more water on my finger to just smooth that out. And I hope that helps resolve the issues. Okay. More smooth. I think it's hard to get the texture on the camera just because it's like white. <laughs> Difficult to see. Okay, so I've finished up fixing minor cracks on the hexagon pot as well. And then my fingers are under covered in clay. Wait another 24 hours. Hello, so it's a few days later and I have my string and my ruler and my scissors and I am going to attempt to make the hangers now. I'm going to have to measure like 11 sections of rope and then do the braiding, so I will do that now. This is an 11 foot cord by the way. back over to my kitchen to finish the macrame because the hook thing was just like not really working. Pretty successful. I finished this top section which is square knots and now I'm working on this section which is half knots that curl into a helix. Hi guys, it is yet another day. So I want to share an update on what's been going on with my macrame thing. Uh, yesterday I basically went ham and completed every both of my like hangers. So this design one was like doing the half knots or yeah half knots. Then I left about an inch of space and then did some more half knots. So all of the three strands are like this. On the other one uh, I did 10 uh, what's it called? 10 square knots, then left like a couple inches of space, did like the spiral half knots, and then left more space, and then this half, this square knot again. And then on the bottom halves, um, what you do is actually like this kind of net situation. It was really complicated, but if you end up getting this kit, they have a YouTube video where they walk through pretty specifically the steps. And I actually also did the net bottom on this one as well. So I can show you really quickly what it looks like when I put the um, pots in it. 
but actually before that, um, you can see there's like pretty much a lot of leftover string, leftover string at the bottom of the thing. So I will, and then there's also some extra like string pieces from knotting the bottoms. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim those and show you guys the final results. Okay, so I'm back from cutting everything. Let me just say this is the amount of like extra string ends that I ended up with. Maybe I should do something with these. Comment if you know what I should do with these. And I am ready to show you my final results. So here is one of my pots. This is the round pot. There's still a couple scratches and like cracks to be honest, but I don't think they're like super noticeable, especially because it's white. And here's my hexagon pot. Wow. I'm not sure why this one is like a lot shorter, but whatever. Um, yeah, so I managed to successfully complete the projects. I will say, oh, and then I guess this keychain also came with it as part of the, as part of the kit. Overall, I would say that um, it was pretty fun. I actually thought that doing the knotting and stuff was pretty relaxing and I totally zoned out when I was like uh, doing the knots yesterday, which is why I don't have like too much footage of it. But that part was pretty fun. I think the one thing that I didn't expect is exactly how long this whole situation was going to take. Um, I think I expected to be able to finish it in like one day, like couple hours, but as you can see, it took a span of many days to actually complete it. Um, and I think part of that was just like, you know, the fact that it's clay and stuff, it just takes time to dry and then you have to go back and fix it and stuff like that. So that's not necessarily like the case for all of these boxes. Maybe it was just this specific project. But that was one thing that kind of like surprised me. But other than that, it was like quite fun overall. And um, I don't know what I'm going to put in the pots uh, and I'm not sure where I'm going to hang them, but uh, I will let you know if I figure that out. I do have like a couple of small succulents that might be a good fit. I don't know. Um, overall, my experience, probably eight or nine out of 10. It, I think it's true that they give you most of the materials and things that you require. Even to hang the pots, like they gave me these. I was using these hooks to actually hook on and braid the macrame and stuff like that, but um, it's good that they include it so that you can actually hang it at the end as well. So I think the materials that are in the box are pretty well thought out and the materials that I had to supply was pretty much things that anyone would have like scissors and water and stuff like that. So nothing too crazy. Like I'm really satisfied with the experience. I thought it was super fun. So let me know if you want me to try anything else. I will probably get another one of these boxes and maybe make a video about it. So let me know if you guys want to see it. But other than that, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. So I just have one plant right now, but I put it in this round one and hung them here.